Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is biostimulants in agriculture. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. The Union Agriculture Minister recently directed all states to stop the forced sale of biostimulants along with subsidized fertilizers like urea and DAP. This decision follows multiple complaints from farmers about ineffective products and coercive practices by retailers. The government is now reviewing whether these substances genuinely benefit farmers. Now let's discuss about what are biostimulants. Biostimulants are substances or microorganisms that enhance plant physiological processes, improving nutrient uptake, growth, yield, and stress tolerance. They are distinct from fertilizers and pesticides and commonly include plant-derived materials, seaweed extracts, vitamins, antioxidants, and other biochemicals. According to the Fertilizer Control Order, FCO, 1985, biostimulants do not include pesticides or plant growth regulators, which are governed separately under the Insecticides Act, 1968. Now let's talk about why did the government begin regulation? For many years, biostimulants were sold in the open market without oversight, as they didn't fall under fertilizer or pesticide laws. In 2011, the Punjab and Haryana High Court observed that any such bioproduct claiming benefits similar to fertilizers or pesticides must be submitted for regulatory approval. With increasing usage, the Niti Aayog and Agriculture Ministry began creating a regulatory framework in 2017. In February 2021, biostimulants were officially included under the FCO 1985, allowing the center to regulate their manufacture, sale and import. Now lastly, moving on to what does the FCO say about biostimulants? The FCO 2021 amendment defines eight categories of biostimulants, including botanical, and seaweed extracts, biochemicals, and vitamins. To receive approval, manufacturers, importers must submit detailed product information, including chemical composition and source, shelf life, toxicity, test results, acute and ecotoxic, bioefficacy trial reports from at least three agroecological zones at three different doses, the FCO mandates that biostimulants must not contain pesticide content above 0.01 parts per million. The Central Biostimulant Committee, established in April 2021, advises the Centre on technical matters, including new product inclusion, testing protocols and lab requirements. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about biostimulants. One. Biostimulants are regulated under the Insecticides Act, 1968. Two, they are used primarily to alter the genetic composition of crops. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.